Welcome into the Cleveland Browns Report. I'm Matthew Peterson, and fresh off the press, week two is in the books for the preseason. We're not quite at the regular season just yet, but hey, the Browns are 2-0 and oh in the preseason. Don't we wish we could just carry the one into the regular season and keep that hot play going? But if you love the Browns, if you're pumped for the regular season, there's a long list of things. Maybe you're excited to see Baker Mayfield on the field, or maybe it's Miles Garrett in someone else's backfield. Go ahead and like this video so we can give you more Browns content. And speaking of content, we've got some good stuff here for you because the Browns well, first home game in quite some time, and what do they do? They welcome the fans back with a nice 17-13 victory over the New York Giants, who pretty much look lackluster through the entire game here. Had some nice players, including Davion Davis, who we will touch upon later. Make some great plays, but all in all, this was not a very exciting and jump-off-the-screen game. Maybe like week one against the Jaguars was. This game felt a lot more like the coaching staff had a better idea of their fit three-man roster so they kind of turn the second half over to some of those lesser bubble players really trying to make a push and make a name for themselves but hey a win is a win and you know what they say this nation's built on two things preseason football wins and ice cream trucks so if you love the Browns performance in this one go ahead and grade it for me a, B, C, D, or F. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Browns' performance today against the Giants. Personally, I'm going to roll with a B. It's not C because it's above average, and it's not A because the final score is 17-13. to 13. You had two touchdowns, but a nice ending, but nothing really to push you into that A column. Talking about some other stats going on, though, Brian, Browns and Giants. Let's check out the final numbers here. The Browns really demolished the Giants in every single category. You look at the offense, outdated them passing, rushing, total yards, of course, and then first downs were able to keep the ball moving. And touchdowns and turnovers, well, it was the same score right there, but it did not impact the final outcome, although the last play did end on a turnover. So, other things to keep an eye on here, how about the quarterback play out of backup Case Keenum? We saw nothing from Baker Mayfield. I don't think we're going to see him until that week one opener against Kansas City. But talking about Keenum here, eh, I mean, what, what do you, I don't know what you want me to say. You know what I mean? It's nothing too exciting right now out of him. Here's what's kind of informative. He signed a three-year, $18 million contract back in 2020. The Browns are kind of stuck with him. There's not a real easy out. They don't want to spend dead cap space or waste any room on releasing the backup quarterback when hopefully you never see him during the regular season. But there has been some bright spots uh, for the Cleveland Browns quarterback play. They've had a lot of good stuff going on. But before we get to that first, let me know, guys, if you love the Cleveland Browns, if you cannot wait to see Baker Mayfield and Miles Garrett suit up, and I mean actually suit up, ready to play, go ahead and subscribe. Hop down below, turn that big red button into a gray button so we can give you more Browns content, news, rumors, all the above going into the regular season. Third string quarterback Kyle Lalletta, he got a shot at it again, and once again, he outdueled Case Keenum. He played better. You look at the preseason numbers for Laletta. 364 yards, two TDs, no turnovers. He's been pretty good so far, but unfortunately he's stuck behind a backup in Case Keenum who's just not going anywhere. He's got that big contract he signed a year ago, so he's kind of locked down. So unfortunately for Laletta, I think at this point he's probably playing for someone else's roster spot or maybe a... a um, uh, Practice squad, thank you, a practice squad spot for the Browns. I don't think he's got a chance of making the 53-man roster. However, here are some guys really making a push for that 53-man roster. At the run game, on the ground, the Browns just they just steamrolled. I mean, there's a couple other ways you could describe it um, in Cleveland, but all over the New York Giants. Dernish Johnson and John Kelly, they had some great just, you know, first cut out of the backfield, great vision runs. Check out the numbers below. I mean, nine yards on the ground for Dernish Johnson. And then Demetric Felton, he's been a nice scat back, right? Running back, wide receiver combination. He's got some great touches. Again, those three guys, kind of a last push here as we get into the final days of the preseason with just one more game coming up. But even though there is just one more game coming up, there's still another opportunity to go ahead and bet on the Browns. 
Bet on them next week. Bet on them in the regular season. Put some futures down. Whatever you want to do, go do it at BetUS. Here's the deal. I got a great deal for everyone watching. You use the promo code right there, right? Browns125. Once you go to the link, chatsports.com slash bet, you have to use both those things. I need the promo code and I need the link. And when you put in, let's say, $100, BetUS is going to put on an extra $125, so that's $225 to play with. It's a lot of fun, so go bet on the Browns in the Week 3 preseason. Bet on them in their regular season against the Chiefs. Whatever you want to do, go to BetUS and use the promo code BROWNS125 after you visit the link, chatsports.com slash bet. Other big names to kind of watch for and some big takeaways from the first, from the second preseason game, first home game, once again, the safety, Richard LeCount the third ends the game on a high note for the Browns on a sort of half ass Hail Mary from, I don't know, no man's land. Uh, for the Giants, LeCount makes an, makes an interception in the back of the end zone. Just ends the party for the Giants, trying to walk it off in Cleveland. Not to be. His second interception of the preseason had one against Jacksonville. And I just want to add this. With Grant Del Pitt, the second round pick from the 2020 NFL Draft, Still missing time now with a hamstring injury. It's worth noting that there may be an extra safety spot, so LeCount really making every snap count. And on the offensive side, Kaderil Hodge, he had a nice touchdown grab. I mean, two receptions, 21 yards, but that one touchdown reception, a great fade in the corner of the end zone. Tight room, not a lot to work with, but Hodge... He's making himself known, trying to do everything he can to maybe insert himself into that 53-man roster. But he's going to be battling Davion Davis right here. And Davis has been one of the big bright spots in the Browns' preseason games. Has been kind of a little quieter in training camp. But when he's on the gridiron, and that's what Coach Kevin Stefanski and GM Andrew Barry are looking for, he's making himself known. Three receptions, 45 yards today against the G-Men. But let me know down in the comments who you think the greatest sleeper is on this Browns roster. Who are you excited for? Who do you think maybe can just slip through the cracks and maybe make a huge presence during the regular season? Whatever it may be, get down in the comments and let me know. Here's some great news, guys. And I love this. First Energy Stadium was packed today. And I mean full capacity for the first time since December 22nd, 2019. What is that, almost 18, 17 months? You do the math, I don't know it. But anyway, it's great to see that, and it gets you really excited for that first regular season game against Kansas City, and then the rest of the regular season. But it does make you wonder, you know, going forward here, how many games have you guys been to as a Cleveland Browns fan? Whether it's on the road, at home, whatever it may be, hop down in the comments and let me know how many Browns games you guys have been to. Now, checking out the calendar here, there are some notable dates. So we already had the 85-man roster cut. The next roster cut is in two days, or depending on when you're watching this, it's on August 24th. That's a Tuesday again, a, a, you know, a deadly Tuesday. So the roster loses five more names down to 80. Right now it's at 85. And then the big one, and look at the big jump. You go from 80 to 53 on the last day of the month, but that's coming up on Tuesday. So... Two days from Sunday today, or maybe one day if you're watching this on Monday. 